Oh, both are Jehovah. <laughs> See this food here? Yeah, right, this is this is the ink this is the Incan berry, it's the goji berry of South America. Little kids down there called Moto Jibobo. Moto Jibobo. Can you guys repeat? Moto Jibobo. What's this called again? What are you going to tell your kids this is? Moto Jibobo. Then they'll eat it. 16% protein, complete protein source, this stuff right here. What's this called again? <laughs> we're getting to that point now where we all got to, you know, we don't need the big giant salad if we're caught in a pinch. We can have all our superfoods in a little thing like this, right in my own little backpack. And it's like, let me just shuffle through my backpack and see what I got in here that can like feed me for the next three days because I'm going to starve otherwise. And then I've got my goji berry, I've got my cacao, I've got my... <laughs> Marine phytoplankton, because I'm not going to be eating the green stuff growing out of the sand there on Myrtle Beach. You know, first of all, there's crocodiles down there. You know, you can be out there foraging, you might be, you might be attacked by a crocodile. It's like, I'm sorry, nope. So now we've got that all densified down to like a little bottle like this. Isn't this amazing? Now, inevitably, what, what's going to happen is, is this is cracking another really important discovery. And that is, we found out that the less you eat, the longer you live. So the more you get to eat. <laughs> Some people are like. <laughs> the less you eat, the longer you live. So the more you get to eat. That metaphor, if you're very clever and you're listening closely, that metaphor is accurate across all disciplines. It's like the Ark and the Titanic. Yeah. If you delay gratification, you'll get more gratification later. Right? See, that's a metaphor. And so it's kind of like that with food. However, I'm like you. Know, I'm like, how in the world do I eat less? I mean, I, you know, I used to eat like this. Like, they eat a whole hoagie or, you know, pizza pie. And it was like, still wouldn't feel full. Why do we not feel full? Because we're not being nourished. What's missing in the food? Minerals. Minerals. And minerals like magnesium and cacao turn our appetite off. Turn it off. Mom was correct. My mom told me, don't eat a chocolate bar before dinner. It's going to screw up your appetite. <laughs> hey, you just gave me the secret to the whole deal. Now. That's, uh, that, I'm telling you. I lived on chocolate, on chocolate six or seven years. Am I dead? <laughs> and what happened was, because I live on superfoods, the amount of food I just want to do, 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 do. Now I have a little bowl of salad like this, and I'm like... I mean, we were at Cafe Gratitude. This is one of the great raw food. Look, look at this. Bliss Raw Cafe and Elixir Bar. Come on. <laughs> Making it so easy for us. And we're down we're in San Francisco last night at, in Berkeley, actually, California. And we're at the at Cafe Gratitude. And literally, you know, I've been, I, I had these superfood shakes. And all of a sudden, it's like, there's the salad. It's like a mountain. <laughs> it was a mountain. It was like big. And I was like, oh, no, I can't even. I took the top off the mountain like they do down in West Virginia, strip mining. <laughs> and then we were able to bring that whole thing back to my assistant, Juliana. Yeah. And she was so happy. <laughs> Here's a whole big salad for her. She's so happy. There's a ton of food right there. And that amount of food is less than I, that's literally what I eat in a day is one tenth of what I used to eat in a day. And that's no kidding. Calories, volume, overall mass, however you want to look at it, volume, mass, calories, any size, any way you look at it. And so then you step out of the next step out of that is then suddenly you go, whoa, I'm not aging anymore. And I'm also out of the FEAR train and I'm on the HOPE train. Is that a powerful discovery there? Right there. 
Because we are all entrained through me to have this F-E-A-R about C-A-N-C-E-R. <laughs> and H-E-A-R-T-D-I-S-E-A-S-E. And S-T-R-O-K-E and all this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, once we get out of it, we're like, whoa, wait a minute, that's off that train. That's off. We got off. <laughs> you go over to the other conductor and say, here, I got another, here's my superfood, I'll just buy a ticket. <laughs> right? And you get on that train. And then what happens is you get out of that and then you get on the H-O-P-E train and the L-O-V-E train. And you go, oh, wait a second, actually, it's always, this is perfect. It's always been perfect. You ever see The Matrix? Yes. Remember the film The Matrix? Remember the red and blue film? Yes. This is something you eat. <laughs> something you eat. Adam and Eve in the garden, what happened? They ate the wrong thing. <laughs> they didn't bathe in the wrong thing. They didn't swim in the wrong thing. They didn't go to the wrong place. They ate the wrong thing. That's interesting. Very. Very interesting metaphor. You know, my friend Dr. Gabriel Cousins says you can't blend your way to heaven. He's wrong. <laughs> you can't. You tell me. You try it. Throw all that stuff in a blender with your coffee and you drink that. You tell me what happens. Now, there might be a little bit of liquid plumber happening. <laughs> which is... <laughs> That's good, because most people are full of... <laughs> it's true. If, you know what would happen if we actually got a colon hydrotherapist into the White House? Or the Capitol? The Capitol, for sure. That, would, that, that move right there would save the whole planet. That would just like... That's, that's, we need one move. We, we got one chance. That's it. I feel sorry for the septic systems there in Washington, D.C., but nevertheless. This is an invitation. We are asking for volunteers who would like to step off the other train. And you know where that train's going. You know now. We all are aware where it's going. It's going to hospitals and doctors and drugs. Aren't we on a war on drugs? Aren't we, are we against drugs or are we for drugs? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Here's the drugs.